Rolling. Action. Welcome everybody. Um, right, so yesterday, as reported by the Sunday Times, which is a British broadsheet newspaper, quite reliable I guess, um, the leadership of Britain's biggest Muslim charity, so it's not the second biggest or the smallest, it's the biggest Muslim charity in these British Isles, um, the leadership will resign en masse and that's reported uh, for to take place on Saturday um, because um, it had replaced a disgraced trustee with a man who labelled terrorists as heroes, uh, which we know they're not, and described Israel as the Zionist enemy. So social media posts by one of the directors of Islamic Relief Worldwide, that's IRW, um, also glorified terror attacks on Israel, which are going on at the moment, to be fair, and showed the former American president, Barack Obama, in clothing branded with the Star of David, which I would find pretty odd because, as we all know, hopefully Obama said... The future must not belong to those who slander the prophet of Islam. It's the second time in a month that the Global Aid Organization has faced scrutiny over incendiary comments by a trustee. So that's two of these guys who are entrusted with not your money, I hope, because potentially you're giving it to Soko or some like valid Christian uh, charity. But they are under scrutiny again. A second different trustee has glorified terrorism, calling them literally heroes. Um, the posts, which were in Arabic, um, were uncovered by a leading academic on Islamism in the West called Lorenzo Bedino. So what I would say about Islamic charities uh, being found to be, let's say, uh, hugely biased in favour of violence is that it's not surprising because we know that there are Quran verses that call for violence against Christians and Jews specifically, mushrikeen, uh, polytheists, pagans, basically everybody who's not Mohammed's like posse. So um, anybody who tells you any different, they're fibbing, uh, that's the charitable way of saying it, or they're practicing taqiyya, or they're liberal to the point of believing what the mainstream and our government actually says in that it's a religion of peace. It's not. So the Prince of Peace we know is Jesus. He makes an appearance as a like a counterfeit Christ in the Quran. His name's Isa. If anyone wants to look him up, he created a bird. Like he spoke from the cradle, similar to the um, infancy gospels, which are heretical or apocryphal at least. So, in summary, people at Speaker's Corner, like Ali Dawa and Mohammed Hijab, who like I, I respect and I like to talk to Hijab. Um, they have dealings also with Islamic charities and uh, I would take some time potentially to look into Blogging Theology um, which is a website which is run by a Muslim who also comes here to Speaker's Corner and have a little look at what goes on with those charities because for some reason, uh, on YouTube especially, I am plagued by um, Muslim orphan charity videos when uh, hopefully we all know uh, the case that Mohammed actually outlawed adoption after the whole business with his uh, I think adopted son's partner wife former wife uh, current like squeeze of Mohammed so in short they're all resigning it's a bit of a farce um, the British Isles number one Muslim charity a global aid organization and they've all had to resign in embarrassment and quite frankly um, through the discussions and the videos from people like uh, Ali Dawa on apostasy and what should happen to apostates. This is a part of a religion there's a reason to it yeah there's a reason why there's a capital punishment because people like you little weaklings who leave their religion and cause uh, corruption in the land by spreading it the capital punishment in Islamic law would be applied to you we have no doubt and we're proud of that yeah capital punishment will be applied in an Islamic state yeah not individuals going and doing it themselves like uh, idiots yeah no under an emir it is done yes and we you know what we'll be watching considering he is an apostate from a different Islamic sect I think it's all uh pretty ridiculous and hopefully i'll be able to grab him for a friendly chat very soon all right so god bless you all please pray for soko we do pray for you please pray for nigeria sudan north korea china india also pakistan especially um yeah i'd like to pray for iswap and boko haram that they 
literally the delusion will be lifted from them that the Holy Spirit would pour himself out into their hearts and create in them a heart of flesh and the love of Christ because if they don't receive salvation um, they're no more damned than you or I without salvation but they're going to have a lot to answer for and I wouldn't like to be in their sandals all right god bless you all parlor discord etc join 299 month 399 month 17 whatever a month and you can cancel at any time and it's just basically the cost of a, like a very small posh coffee and god bless you all and bye bye